Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyAdMarketing.com. In this video, we're gonna talk about creating an ad in the Facebook Ads Manager. And so let's go ahead and get straight into it. So here I am, I already created a campaign and an ad set, and now I'm at the ad level. And the first thing we can go ahead and do is name our ad. So you probably wanna name it something that's descriptive for that particular ad. Additionally, you could go ahead and create a template. So let me click this option right here. And so if you wanna make sure that you're naming your ads in a similar format every single time, a template can be very useful. So you can go ahead and add camp components here and you can select some auto-generated ones like campaign field. So you could do advantage campaign budget or objective or campaign ID or campaign name or ad set fields or ad fields. And so this might be useful since you're creating an ad. So if you want all your ads to have like the same name, you could go ahead and do something like format and also we'll go ahead and do headline. And then we'll go ahead and do an open text field right here. I can click on this pencil option and then name it something. So manual description and click on the check mark here. And then we could go ahead and select our field separator. So you can see that there's a little underscore between the different options I have right here. And so we could select a different icon and then there's also item separator so this would be between the different items like if there's multiple headlines it would go ahead and separate them with these two colons right here and so this is fine for demonstration purposes but templates can be helpful so that way you keep everything consistent across your account so I'm gonna go ahead and click on save. You can see that it gave me the text field here for the manual, de manual description. And in this case, I'm just gonna write out demo. So that's good enough for me right now. Then we have partnership ads. So run ads with creators, brands, and other businesses. These ads will feature both identities in the header. So if you're doing a ad with a partner of some sort, you could go ahead and flip this on. And then you need to go ahead and enter the partnership ad code. And if you're bothering to advertise with partners, you're probably not watching this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off right now. Then we need to select our identity. So we have the Facebook page that we're going to be advertising from. So I have my CEM training page. And then you can also go ahead and select your Instagram account, or you could go ahead and use your selected Facebook page as the account. I highly recommend connecting your Instagram account to your business manager. So that way when you're advertising on Instagram, people will see the ad coming from your account, and then they might go over to your account on Instagram and follow your Instagram profile over there. Additionally, it lets people comment on your ads and allows you to respond as well. So it can be a great way to answer questions or get engagement and things like that. So if you're advertising on Instagram at all, you definitely need an Instagram account. Do not use the selected page option. Get out there and create an Instagram account and connect it before you advertise on Instagram. Now in my particular case right now, this is a dummy account and I don't have an Instagram account selected, but if you have ads on Instagram, run it through your Instagram account. Up next, we have ad setup. So we can go ahead and create an ad or we could use an existing post or use Creative Hub mockup. Now I'm gonna come back to creating an ad, but let's click on use existing post real quick. And now I can come down here to add creative and I can select my post. And this will let me select other ads that I've created, but also posts that I have on my Facebook page. So if you wanna use a post that you have on your Facebook page, you could go ahead and select it. One of the best ways to do it would be to use the filter by and then go to publish posts here. And then you could go ahead and select one of the posts that you have on your Facebook page. So I could select this one right here and continue. And now I'll be using the same post that I already have on my page. So that can be good if you already have a lot of engagement, like maybe you have a lot of likes and comments on your Facebook page's post. And so then your ad would start off with a bunch of likes and comments on it instead of being like a brand new piece of content. Now I'm gonna come back to change posts real quick and I'm gonna click on the filter by and you can also see that you have ads posts right here as well. So if you wanted to select one of the ads you already have running, you could go ahead and do that as well. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out of here and come back up here and I'll have another video on the Creative Hub mockup as it's like its own topic. So we're gonna come here to create an ad. Now we can go ahead and select our creative source. So we have manual upload and I also have the catalog feature because I've connected my iStores catalog to my Meta Business account. So I could use my catalog to generate ads, but we'll go manual upload. And then I have the format right here. So we have single image or video. We also have carousel and we also have collection. And I'm gonna be sticking with single image in this particular video, but I'll have other videos on the video, carousel and collections option. So link in the description down below if you're interested in those. And then we have multi advertiser ads and it's recommended. And I always leave this setting on, but if you wanna learn more about it, you can click learn more right here and read this description over here. But basically you can help people discover and compare products and services from multiple businesses. And so somebody might've shown interest in somebody else's product, but then they'll see your product right next to theirs. 
and they can do a quick compare of the different products. But I'm gonna go ahead and close out of here real quick. And now we get to the add creative area. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my media here. And I'm gonna go ahead and add an image. And I've already uploaded an image. So I'm just gonna select this one right here and click on next. And now there's several different dimensions that I need to go ahead and crop for. So that way it looks good in all different placements. So we have the original, which is square here, and that's just fine. Then we have stories and reels right here. So we have original, which is recommended, but I think it looks weird being a square image with all this gray stuff on the outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on nine by 16, and then it zooms in a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and crop this and kind of center it just like that and apply. And then same concept over here with right column. I'm gonna go ahead and click right here and crop. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move it so it makes more sense and apply. And then I'll go ahead and click on next. And then it asks if we wanna optimize our ad with Advantage Plus Creative. So if you already have a lot of creative or you have a marketing department or a graphics department, then I would go ahead and turn this off because creating custom content for each placement is definitely the preferred way to do it. However, if you only have like one image like I do right here, then it could be helpful to use this Advantage Plus Creative and let Facebook's algorithm figure out what works best. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on all optimizations here. And you can see that it gives us different concepts. So we have the original creative and what this will look like in the different placements right here. And then there's a music version. So we can see that there's music playing. And if we don't like that music, we could go ahead and click on change music. And there's a whole library of different songs you could go ahead and listen to and play. Like I'll try this one. Oh yeah, Fun Factory, that sounds good. And you can also see over here in the top right, this affects four different placements. So it affects Instagram Reels, Facebook Reels, Instagram Feed, and Instagram Story. So that's where this song is gonna be playing. So anyway, we'll go ahead and click on next and relevant comments over here. So we will display the most relevant comment below your ad on Facebook and Instagram. We have image templates and visual touch-ups and text improvements and so on. So again, if you don't have a marketing department or aren't very creative, this can be a great way to create additional ads and concepts, which may improve your marketing efforts. I'm gonna go ahead and click on done now. And so now I can see that Facebook or Meta has created 21 placements that my ads will be shown. I can see a little preview over here and you can see what it'll look like. And we're gonna come back up to this in just a minute. I recommend coming down here to this area where we'll enter our text and our headlines and descriptions and so on. And that way we can get a better preview of how our ads will look. So the first option we have right here is primary text and that's what's gonna go above our image. At least for Facebook feeds, that's where that text will go. And it does give us a suggested text variation based off of its super smart AI algorithm. So if you wanted to use it, you could go ahead and click this little plus button right here. And just like that, you have some primary text, but I'm gonna go ahead and add one right here. So I have, this is the primary text location. And you can see right now my ad has updated over here to show where the primary text will show up. And as you may notice over here, I can add five primary texts and so if you have more than one Facebook will automatically mix and match your different primary text to see which one converts the best and same concept with like headline and description down here so if you have multiples of each of these Facebook will automatically run a bunch of tests by mixing and matching all these different options and figuring out which one works the best and so I'm happy with the primary text right here let's do the headline now this is the headline and I could add another option here headlines go here same concept with description. This is the description. And then coming on down here, we have a call to action button. So currently it's learn more, but maybe I wanna change it to download right here. And you can see that it changed right here. And scrolling on down here, it gives us the option to A-B test our catalog versus our manual upload. So run a four day test with your existing budget to see how using your catalog can impact performance. So like I said earlier in this video, I have my Shopify catalog connected to my Facebook ads account. And so we could go ahead and pull in images and details from my Shopify store and automatically create ads using that information. So if I wanted to see if my catalog or my custom ad would work better, I could go ahead and run a split test by clicking this little option right here. But I'm not gonna do that in this case. But let's go ahead and scroll back up here to the ad creative area and talk about these different placements and options that we have. So you can see that there's three different placements right here. So I have feeds, in-stream ads for videos and reels, search results. I have stories and reels, apps and sites, and then I have right column and search results. I could hover over it and click on this pencil in order to edit the group. And so if I make an edit right here, you'll notice that I'm editing 12 placements. So if I went and I cropped, and I made like a horizontal crop or something like that and went like that, well, then it's going to go ahead and update all 12 of those placements with a really weird and random cropping. So you really want to be careful if you're editing multiple placements at once. Let me go ahead and clear this. 
And let's go ahead and click this drop down arrow. And now you can see every single placement that I have. And I could go ahead and customize each individual placement. So that way I can make sure it looks as good as humanly possible. So let's go ahead and look at Facebook feed real quick. And so this is what my ad will look like in the mobile feed. Additionally, this is what it would look like in a desktop feed. So I can see what it's gonna look like in both locations. And if I realize like it's not gonna look good in the feed, I can come over here and I could change things. Like if I wanted to change the image out completely if I wanted to, or I could go ahead and replace my image with a video. So basically I can have a unique ad for each placement. And so that gives me a lot of control of how I wanna customize things and present it to my audience. So let's say I wanna swap out this image right here with a, one of my crazy eye images. So I can just go ahead and do that. Or of course I could go ahead and upload if I needed to upload something. I could go ahead and crop things if I need to. So here are the cropping options. I could also go ahead and change my text. So if I wanted to change my primary text, I could go ahead and do that. Like maybe I wanna go ahead and include a link in my primary text area. So I can see it right there and that's what it'll look like. I can make sure that it'll look good on a mobile feed as well. So I can see my link right there. And I think that that looks really awesome. I could also go ahead and customize my headlines for these placements on the mobile and desktop feeds. So I could go ahead and change that. And same concept with destination here. So I could send people that are clicking on my ad from the feed to a certain website URL. And when you're happy with everything, you can just click on save. And now you can see right here that my Facebook feed image has changed to the eyeball instead of this guy holding a book. So same concept for all the placements then. So in stream for videos, let's go ahead and click on edit here and see what this looks like. So I have this right here. If I click play, it's just like a little zoom feature. But what I may want is a custom video. So I could go ahead and upload a video instead of just this random zoom on my image. And again, I could go ahead and edit my text and headline and everything else to make sure everything looks good in this particular placement. And so we can see also where this is gonna show up. So Facebook, in-stream banner, mobile, and Facebook, in-stream banner, desktop. So you can make sure everything's gonna look good. And I'll go ahead and close out of here. The point is you wanna go through each of these placements and ensure that your ads look good. Now there's a quicker way than going like one by one clicking the pencil. Of course, you can see a little preview over here, but also you could go ahead and click on advanced preview right here and you can quickly see how your ads will look in all the different locations and you can just quickly browse through here and see if anything's cut weird or is going to look weird in the different placements and so let's say that you find a location that it just doesn't look good like no matter what you do so let's say like these facebook reels like you just don't like how that's going to look so we could come back out here and we could come to the ad set level and we could go ahead and adjust our placement. So come down here, placements down here, and we could go ahead and change it from advantage plus placements to manual plus placements. And we could go ahead and go to stories and reels. And we could go ahead and click on this little arrow next to stories and reels. And we could go ahead and turn off Facebook stories and Facebook reels because when we did our little preview, we realize that our ad's not going to look good in those locations and we're not gonna go out there and create a brand new ad to fit those different locations. So we might as well just turn them off. Otherwise, we're gonna have funky show on ads and you know that's just kind of a waste of money. So I just wanted to point that out. If you find placements where your ads look bad, make sure you come back here to the ad set level and you turn off those different placements so you're not throwing money down the drain. All right, come back over to the ad and I think we're almost done. Scroll on down here and we have the destination here. So of course you want to send people to your landing page your sales page or whatever it is you're trying to get people to do. And you can go ahead and click on preview URL as well to make sure that it loads correctly because you definitely don't want to spend money sending people to a place that doesn't actually exist. And it looks like my link is working. So that is good. And you can also edit your display link a little bit, but don't get too crazy with this because Facebook won't let those ads run if you do something weird. So in my case, I could do crazyimarketing.com slash YouTube and that should work. Like as you can see over here, it says crazyimarketing.com slash ute. And so that'll work. But if I put something weird in here, weird stuff well then it's going to give me an error message so you have to put like an actual link in there in order for it to display or if you leave it blank it'll just use your root domain and then there's some additional options like for a call so i could add a call button on your website and if you hover over this little eye you can see how that works but i'm not going to cover that in this video there's also instant experiences and facebook events which are topics on their own and i'll have additional videos on these different features Coming on down here, we have languages. So if you wanna add your own translations or automatically translate your ad to reach people in more languages, you can go ahead and turn that on. And finally, we get down here to tracking. So make sure that your pixel and everything is selected down here. If it's not selected, then come back up to your ad set level and you wanna make sure that you've 
selected your conversion location and make sure that you select your pixel right here. Because if you're spending money, you definitely wanna make sure that you're tracking and optimizing everything as much as humanly possible. But let's come on down here and scroll back down. And then there's also app events or offline events. And if you have these, you could go ahead and tick these blocks. And finally, there's URL parameters. So if you have tracking software or if you're using Google Analytics, for example, you could plug in URL parameters for your different ads so that way you can have better tracking for which ads are delivering the results. But that's a bit advanced and beyond the scope of this video. Anyway, when you're happy with your ad, you would just come over here and click on the publish button and your ad will go through the approval process. But once it's approved, it'll start running and hopefully generate you millions and millions of dollars. And that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I appreciate your sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and or check out crazymarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.